Let's go to southeast Georgia now where a pharmacist is facing federal charges and possibly years in jail. Prosecutors say Janice Ann Coulter was in charge of a dairy in Georgia pharmacy where she played a role in having nearly a million doses of opioids filled. This case has even come to the attention of a United States congressman who has been working on legislation to combat the opioid crisis. Tonight, Alex Ositis is on your side getting answers. And this is the pharmacy that was at the center of that nearly two-year-long investigation by the feds. The former CFO accused of falsifying documents connected to nearly a million opioid doses. We dug through court records which say Coulter filled a large number of prescriptions for high prescribing physicians. No less than a million doses in about a third of those to just three doctors, not named in court records. Coulter allegedly falsified statements on compliance audits to the Drug Enforcement Agency between 2015 and 2017. At the time, she was the pharmacist in charge and the CFO of Darien Pharmacy. We reached out to Coulter's attorney but didn't hear back. In a statement from the special agent of the DEA, which Quote, some of these licensed practitioners dispense addictive substances under the guise of, quote, professional practice, when in reality they act like a common drug dealer. The On Your Side team spoke via FaceTime with Congressman Buddy Carter, who represents Coastal Georgia in D.C. Carter is also a pharmacist by trade. I don't think that it's more offensive to anyone else than it is to other members of that profession. He's co-sponsored legislation to address opioid use, both from the prescriber and the user sides, adding that there's still more to be done. We have to have some limitations, particularly on this class of drugs, because we do understand just how addictive it is, how much of a problem it is. And the only way that we're ever going to be able to get it under control is to have some kind of limitations on it. As for Coulter, she's due in U.S. District Court later this month. If she's convicted, she could face up to five years in prison, as well as a $250,000 fine. Reporting in Darien, Georgia, Alex Osiris, First Coast News, on your side.